Welcome to Talk with Tina Weezy. I'm Tina Weezy. Join me every Sunday for a new video post. Hey guys, welcome back to my recap videos. All right, and this one is going to be The Walking Dead, and this one is Splinter. Like I said in my last videos, I have had issues trying to upload this and do my own recap. I want to give out a really big shout out to uh, video content creator, YouTuber, Man of Recaps. Um, I just recently found this guy. I'm just, um, and I am going to, um, speak about splinters the episode that focuses mostly on princess but it is uh following and picking up where we left off with our group of friends here eugene um yumiko ezekiel princess they're on their way to find eugene's uh radio friend stephanie um can't remember really uh, if they've gone into much of what where Stephanie's from, I don't think they really said much about it. Um, but this episode, I really want to talk more about um, Princess and everything in her backstory because we could learn a lot about her actually in this one. And so they, the four of them were captured by these stormtrooper trooper looking guys is the last time we saw them and they were separated and so that's kind of where we pick up is them separated and so uh we find that they're separated in train cars and when our group has been put in train cars nothing good comes out of them like remember terminus not good <laughs> so yeah um she's locked in a train car alone and we find out that um, in her childhood, she was abused. She was abused by her stepfather. Um, he used to, I, I'm not too sure what the extent of the abuse was, but it, we find that it, it was bad. He used to beat her uh, quite a bit. Um, and being locked in that dark place is bringing up a lot of painful memories of her of that abuse of childhood um she used to talk to herself and use her imagination and hallucinate different situations to get herself out of there and to kind of bring herself to a new place and to save her sanity basically and you know i think it's an escape and a coping mechanism that she grew up to to have to deal with her abuse um, throughout the episode, she's talking to her friends, either through a wall or face to face somehow, um, you know, and for, uh, one reason that we don't see Yumiko, uh, face to face is because the actress who plays her, uh, comes from the UK. So, um, these are all recorded during COVID times. So, um, for that reason there was a no travel she couldn't travel so um that's why we don't see her face to face in the episode but we do hear her talking to yumiko i mean to princess and and uh telling her you know it'll be okay we'll be okay everything will be all right and eugene's telling her the same thing when she talks to him like he you know he tries to calm her down and just to deal with like just to listen to these stormtrooper guys and to just do what they say and she's like no we got to get out of here and she even like she even breaks out of her train car and goes back in and out in and out to go and speak to eugene and to say you know i think they're you know I think they're okay. Maybe we can trust them. And she then has Ezekiel, Ezekiel, sorry, uh, break into her train car and talk to her and, you know, talk her out of this. And she tries to talk about things. And we just find that throughout the whole episode, things are just a little off. And we realize, like, she's interrogated by these stormtroopers. Uh, the guy who interrogates her is. Uh, violent he smacks her around and you know so she's hurt and and stuff so um that brings back a lot of her trauma and and everything as well and then we realize 
near the end of the episode that her friends aren't there. She's not actually talking to Yumiko or Eugene or Ezekiel. She's never broke out of the train car. Um, it's just part of her coping mechanism, her her hallucinations and her imagination that has done all this. She's in fact still in the train car in the dark. Um, so we reveal like that it was all in her head. She at one point thought Ezekiel was in there with her and was beating this stormtrooper guy when she realizes during the beating that it's her that's beating him up. And that's when she kind of snaps out of it and she says, you know, where are my friends? I want to see my friends. And he's like, uh, <laughs> why should, you know, why should I help you? And she's like, I'll, I'll answer all your questions. Um, I'll give you all the information that you want. If you just tell me where my friends are, let me see my friends. And so he says, yeah, you know, like, okay, I'll let you see your friends. Cause she's convinced that they're, they're there. They've got to be there to help. Like there's no other explanation. Like, she can't... She, I, I think it's just that she mentally cannot accept the fact that there might be people out there that still want to hurt them. And that's, that's such a bad, big bad that... You know, I think that, just, that might just be too overwhelming for her. And that, that's why she's like, okay, yeah, but you're helping my friends, right? You're, you're like, Yumiko is hurt. You're helping her, right? That's where she is. That's why I can't talk to her. And that's why I don't see her. And he's all like, yeah, yeah, okay, you know just saying anything he can to calm her down like he just got his butt beat by her and because he even asks her who are you talking to now realizing that she's in a mental break she's probably in some sort of a schizophrenic breakdown a psychological breakdown so he's you know he's a little bit worried for himself his safety she's got his weapon um so he's gonna say whatever he has to to save himself right so he ends up gaining her trust she answers his question she gives him back his weapon only to find that oh yeah i'll give you to your friends i'll show you your friends he opens the train car door and they're her friends they're all on their knees with bags on their heads and that, that's how it ends is a bag is put on her head so it's like a slap in her face a punch in the gut <laughs> it's like why trust people right um I think that it's a really like a lot of people complain about these episodes they're filler episodes oh you know blah 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 I think they're such great character development episodes that I'm grateful for them like we have to realize they're filming these with you know during COVID times like where it's we have to isolate where it's social distancing all of these new rules in the life and they're trying to give us content they're some, trying to give us something to watch they're trying to give us some of the show and still be a great episode without being everybody on stage everyone are being on site i mean on set and you know with without being socially distant so and it gives us a lot of chance to get to know these characters. Yes, Princess is a very new character, but it still gives us time. The next episode is going to, like, that. Uh, the next couple of episodes are going to be more about Carol and Daryl, and then there's going to be Negan's backstory. So that one I'm really excited about. I cannot wait to see that one. Um, we also find out in this episode that Princess has been... Uh, suffering from a few mental illnesses um, in her past and so she p suffers from ADHD PS uh, PTSD anxiety depression and crushing loneliness so I can't even imagine like how that would be in normal life and then all, this, all of a sudden the zombie apocalypse is thrown onto you and then all of a sudden you're just left alone she is all alone she's been alone for like years probably um 
like when we met her she was setting up she was using the walkers as like mannequins almost and art and you know letting them live so that there were like people so that she could yeah okay they would kill you but she would say hi to them and you know blah 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 she had them all set up so that they were like little window shows you know like for her something almost like pets so that she wasn't so lonely um, I think that it's going to be I think it's going to be great watching her character is she going to be healed um, or, or is there going to be help for her um, you know like how is how is her mental health situation going to affect her and the friendships and the relationships with our group and with you know the big bads and you know like how and what is going to happen i have not watched any of the comic books um or watched any of the comic books sorry i have not read any of the comic books so i don't know what's going on i the only thing i know is that you know the story has changed from the comics um in the comics carl is supposed to you know be the main character it's supposed to be his story but in the show we all know that carl was killed off a couple of seasons ago um so we we've been struggling guys mentally and emotionally f since then <laughs> um but yeah i really like the character of princess i like that they brought in somebody who has all of these issues because it is something that is rapid you know and especially since the everything that you know COVID has happened so for the last year we see a lot of mental issues and a lot of mental health stuff coming up in the coming up now and it's, so it's like you know it's a great time to have things talked about and brought in and um mentioned in regards to that because a lot of people don't realize that your mental health has a lot to do with your physical health as well. So if you don't keep the both in check, um, you know, a lot of, it can lead to a lot of bad things. Stress can lead to heart issues, to other health issues. And, you know, like untreated depression, we all know what leads to that. We, we saw what happened to Robin Williams. We've saw what happened to, you know, other people that, and I'm sure people you know and love have suffered from any kind of mental illness and any kind of de crippling uh, depression is is something that needs to be talked about and, and brought to light. So I'm really enjoying her character. I hope that in the next season, I know we only have one season left. I'm hoping that we can learn a little more about Princess and and see how her character changes from there. So hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a recap. Uh, I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to do my recap for my next one. Um, Diverged, uh, which is Carol and Daryl, their story. Um, and I kind of want to recap on the previous episode with them. So, and this is what I have done the recap that one's this one here um so <laughs> so yeah yeah i'm awesome i know <laughs> um but uh but yeah that's my recap of the episode splinter so hopefully i'll be able to uh, edit the episode or these videos tonight excuse me and uh, have them uploaded for you tonight because they're you know I'm, I'm it's, uh, <laughs> uh, it's been issues guys it's been issues but you know <laughs> we'll get it worked out um maybe I won't be so uh lazy feeling uh, do my makeup, do my hair maybe I'll post my next video um, and you'll actually see my face live <laughs> again uh, 
you know, we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I really, really, really appreciate it. I love watching my channel grow so far. We've gone from five subscribers. We are now up to 14, guys. So thank you so much uh, for sticking around. And we'll chat to you later.